Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I am Orai. We are playing more Vampire Hunters, a really cool first person action roguelike type game. I have been playing a little bit more and I actually did clear the first stage now, but we're gonna run it again because I haven't officially done it on recording live footage. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're still gonna run this level. Um, I have been running the Paladin more. I guess the Paladin's my stronger character. We got her up to level 47. We're going to start off with the Assault Rifle here. Um, or let's see, what, what was the weapon? Um, the Rifle, yeah. Not Assault Rifle, just Rifle. Um, hold up, can I pick? <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Okay, that's interesting. Man, you can really level these up, huh? I was like, can I just, is it going to let me start off with an incredibly high level weapon? Okay, but either way, we're going to run off with the rifle. Um, I have my skill tree and stuff pretty high. Uh, I'm kind of working on putting a little bit of extra points into everything else, you know, like the extra upgrades that are going to give me damage and max ammo. I need to work on those a little bit. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on now. My permanent upgrades are looking like this and let's jump into the game so we're gonna start off with the rifle we're not gonna run any consolations um i think the consolations will come when when i feel like i have a lot of the game progressed through you know because they add these really really weird modifiers to the game and so i think those are gonna have to be like very specific type builds or runs you know because some of them are like one hit kills for me. Like if I get hit once I die, but you do a ton of extra damage. Uh, so things like that. I like the rifle. I've been using the rifle a little bit. The rifle does pretty good damage. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do the cat because I love the cat. The cat is gonna give me a bonus every 30 seconds. So either like a score modifier, uh, a heal, but if I level that up enough, it's gonna start giving me every one of them every time it goes off. So I think that's a pretty decent item to take. So I am gonna try to level that one and max that one up. Um, let's do another rifle. Like I don't mind taking like four rifles or something. See, so anytime you hear that cat meow, I'm getting a bonus. Okay, we could do Let's do the speed for now. Take the little mic, the little tiny bonuses. Okay, so let's do let's do four rifles, and then we'll start moving on towards like other type of support type weapons or something. Uh, slows enemies near me for sure. Or we could do the resurrect. Let's do the slow enemy. Okay, now let's start taking some other type weapons or upgrading these ones. We'll upgrade this. Sometimes I can make that. I guess I maybe need a little bit more speed. Sometimes I don't even know if it's worth getting these chests, you know? Because what did I... I think I feel like I would have just been better off sitting down there and fighting <laughs> and getting the XP. I mean, I guess the XP will... The enemies and the XP will still be there, so... Okay, let's do... I like the orb. I think we'll do the orb as our last one for some extra, like, ricochet. Oops, I was literally about to do my jump. Okay, let's do piercing. Oh, that messed up my slam. Okay. See, so first time the lucky, from time to time, the lucky cat spirit grants you, it's now going to grant me two of these bonuses. So it's either going to heal, recover all your ammo, give you five souls, five bloods, or plus five to your combo. Uh, I like that. I like that one. So if I can get it to, you know, if I can upgrade it to five, 
So it's doing all five of them at every time. That's that's pretty solid. Okay, let's do electrify. Oh, there's dang, there's another treasure. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if I'll make it to that in time. Let's do max HP. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it there in time because I have to go all the way up. And then I have to fall down. There's no way I'm making that. Okay, let's do... We could do the elemental pistol. I like getting a couple of these sort of support status effect weapons and then running mostly, I guess, the support carry ones. Okay, let's upgrade my cat. So now it's going to give me three. Actually, let's do the relic. Um, the, the cat upgrade will still be there. The relic always won't be there. I did like, I played the scout last time and I kind of like the scout. Um, we could do flamethrower. I kind of like the scout, but the scout's movement and all that was really cool, but I wasn't a big fan of their upgrade tree because a lot of it was, I guess the dodge stuff could be pretty cool if you get that high enough, but a lot of it was luck and things like that I usually like to go more with armor and HP and life regen kind of stuff and um, he doesn't get any of those so I don't really know how much I'll play that oh I need to kill slime slay me before he starts spreading his poison too much Okay, now we'll do... Okay, we'll just do the cat now. Okay, so you're dead. Let's get your bonus. Boss Slayer now affects all enemies. What does Boss Slayer do exactly? Um, One of these had Boss Slayer. I wish I could see. Um, I just, I just assume it means it does more damage to bosses. So now all my weapons are going to have boss slayer. Okay, let's do... Crucible. Let's do... I kind of like the shield generator, too. The shield doesn't really last that long, but every once in a while it's beneficial because it's going to give me a, a shield, but it only lasts for a few seconds. Um, but in terms of a support item, I guess it's okay. Because you never know. Like Sometimes toward the end, you're starting to get hit a lot. And so when that shield pops up, that's always pretty nice. Um, I guess I can get it this way, huh? Alright, let's upgrade the rifle. I would be interested in doing, I don't know about like a one weapon run, but just upgrading one weapon as much as I can. That would be kind of fun to try. 
I don't know if stuff like that's possible in this game. If it is, that would be sweet. Okay, let's do... Death Reload. Death Reload. Each shot has... What's Death Reload? On, like, on death, if we kill something, it reloads the weapon. Let's just do that. Let's just do the legendary bonus on that. Oops, I did not mean to fall. Okay, let's do... I'm gonna do the crit chance. Okay, let's do bleed. Let's do the cat again, or... Yeah, let's do the cat again. So now I'm gonna get four of those bonuses every time. Alright, let's do... Here's scene. have appeared. Just do exposed. Okay, let's get these eyes, because these eyes are annoying. Okay, one down. Using your special ability instantly reloads your primary weapons. Okay, so now the next one's going to be this guy up here. No, 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 get out of there. I don't know if there's a way to kill this guy other than, um... Is that gonna hurt me still? Other than when he shows up over here. Aw, oh, man. Okay, let's do the shield again. Okay, he's dead. Ooh, 10% critical chance is pretty good. My stomp not activated yet. Okay, let's go get our treasure chest and then we'll go get our heal too.
I like her slam though. It's, the slam is pretty good. Okay, what are we doing here? Another support. Do we not? I don't think we have another secondary. Um, Dragon Whip. Chainsaw is pretty good. Area control secondary. Reduces the cooldown of your special ability. Let's do the chainsaw. Oh. Chainsaw just does really good damage to like enemies close range to us. Alternate shot. Cast a fireball that pierces through and burns enemies. Okay. I mean, at this point, so since again, I'm new to this game, is there any point for me to really kind of like leave this area? As in this situation right here, you know, there's no treasure chests. Uh, I can just kind of funnel everything up here and just kill everything relatively easily and then pick up all the XP that they drop. Just doesn't seem like there's much reason to leave here yet. After using your special ability, shoots eight arrows around that deal damage. Let's do the cat. No, I guess we could just do the relic. The relics are usually fine because, you know, they just, they'll be there forever. Or the other upgrade will be there forever. Oops. Let's do rifle. You know, because now when I'm down here, I'm super exposed, you know? So it seems like it's just better to just hang out up there most of the time. Let's do, for each weapon that you have increases, for each weapon with bleed you have increases the duration of your blood ability. I have at least one <laughs> with bleed. I don't know how many I actually have though. Um, I feel like I just have one. Let's do the shield. Oh, come on. This guy has too much armor around him. He's like, look at him, he's protected right now. Okay. Let's go get the cocoons. When you gain a relic, there's a 10% chance of receiving a copy of it. Oh, okay, so that means possibly take more relics then. Uh, healing potions heal plus five. And then plus one. Ooh, that's a good one. So it's going to give me extra heals, but then it's also going to give me health regen. Okay, where's the cocoon at? Okay, there's... Okay. Let's go get the one up top, and then I'll jump down and get the one in the bottom. These guys have a lot of HP. These mosquitoes, for whatever reason. Okay, let's do piercing on the rifle. 
And okay, then let's go get this last cocoon. If I can just get it from up here. I killed that. Guess I have to drop down. Uh, when active, makes the player invincible for two seconds. When active, when what's active, makes the player invincible. Oh, tw 20 second cooldown. Gotcha. So every 20 seconds, I'm going to be immune for two seconds. wonder if it'll tell me when I'm immune. What is... Definitely want to try the new level here soon. See what that one's like. If there's new enemies, new bosses. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a different layout. Okay, let's max out our cat. All right. So now every 30 seconds, I'm going to get all of those bonuses. Let's do slow. For one minute, you lose HP, but gain three souls. Let's do double damage to Frozen. Death Heal. What's Death Heal? Activating... Can I see what these do? I, I can. What's Death Heal do? When killing an enemy, there's a 10% chance to recover. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, souls dropped by enemies affected by weakness. I don't know if I have weakness. We'll take it anyways. Something did a number on me there. Okay, let's go get our health potion. Where's it at? Is it right here? Alright. Show yourself. Alright. 
she's dead. For every 25 seconds, a freezing wave. Cool. Okay, so two dead. Let's go find what's the last one. Every 10 seconds for each weapon you have a laser. That's I like that one. That one's pretty good. Oh, here he is. Okay, this one's gonna be a little annoying. I need to get like to a better place. Turns the current slime trail on the ground into a speed boost. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, let's let's try that. Cause there's a little bit of slime. Is this a, yeah, there's a little bit of slime all over the map. I didn't know that was a thing. That's fun. So now when I'm on it, I'll get a speed boost instead of a slow. That's cool. I like stuff like that. That's kind of clever. Okay, let's do... What? Oh, no, I did not mean to fall there. Shoot. I was gonna fight him in the, in the sky. Okay, uh, 15% speed, and then you have 10 dodge while moving. That's... Sounds super good. Okay, let's go get our other heal now. Each poisoned enemy, I don't I'm pretty sure we don't have any poison. Um let's do the chainsaw. Chainsaw doesn't get a ton of use, but I do like it. Let's do more of the rifle stuff. We need to do more DPS, I feel like. A dummy I was <laughs> I was so close I just missed it oh what a waste okay well now I can't land on that platform okay let's do again more more rifle like the slow and electrify stuff is cool but I need more I need to get more DPS Poisoned enemy, that one again. Um, let's go with the orb.
Okay, let's do... Um... I guess we could do this one. You gain armor for each frozen enemy. Let's do, we do have burn and freeze, so let's do this item. How many souls received per minute? Okay, let's do the rifle. Okay, he's dead. Bosses are linked to a nearby enemy that receives 50% of the damage taken. Okay, so now we need to find Saki. Saki is super annoying. Saki's always going to be teleporting around. <laughs> See what I mean? Right, where'd he go? Alright, let's go finish off Saki. Hitting a weak spot grants you a stack of... Okay, let's do that one. After three seconds without hitting a weak spot, the stacks are lost. Oh, come on. Where'd he go now? Oh, he just went back to the exact same spot. Sweet. Twenty percent secondary weapons. Okay. Uh, where's this other? I want to get rid of this other totem. Okay, let's do rifle. Okay, now let's go get this last dragon boss. Stay there. Oh man, I can't quite reach that. It's not. Okay, I'm gonna wait out here until the boss comes back. I, I again, I don't know if there's another place he shows up. Is is that the only place he shows up? Do I just kind of have to wait for him. Okay, you gain 1% damage for each weapon with burn you possess, plus 3 to all ammo, double damage to frozen. Let's do that one. I think, I, I think I'm more likely to do damage to a frozen enemy than I have stuff with burn. So I think I only have one burn weapon. Gain 1 HP, regen, and then reload while at 200 plus combo. Okay.
I have a hard time keeping my combo up. Even right now, I only have a 38 combo, 45. <laughs> no, stay up. No, dang it. Ah, see, and then I lose my combo. Like, I don't know. Maybe I need something that keeps my combos up longer or something. I don't know if that's what I'm missing. I definitely need more DPS here though. My DPS is lacking. This is this might get a little hard here for the last kind of final wave of this fight. Cuz all these enemies are so freaking strong right now and I do not have the DPS. Do so we only have about a minute and a half more. It's just, you know, the survivability seems decent. The DPS is definitely kind of low, though. This is where it's gonna get extra dicey now. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, now I'm a little bit worried here. Um, let's see. Let's do the critical chance. Let's do. me down each poisoned enemy chainsaw let's do oh my gosh look at all these guys no i missed <laughs> i missed <laughs> uh that's not the way i meant to go damn Go this way. Okay, so now I have to deactivate the portals. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what my DPS is looking like here. I don't know how good it's going to be to be able to do this. get rid of some of these bosses though.
Okay, so where am I going for these last ones? Um, there's one over here. Shoot. I'm gonna go... <laughs> uh, let's get the health. Oh, here's... No! Can't see. I think I got it, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think the last one is right there. But I'm gonna do this a little bit safe, I guess. Right, the last one's gonna be right below. Down here. Let's go. Is that it? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> that was sweet. That worked out really well. See, so I like this character. Uh, look at, man, look at that chainsaw. <laughs> chainsaw did. The rifles actually didn't do as much as I thought they would do. I guess mainly because I didn't level them up as much. Um, I had a few rifles my last run that were really high level that did a ton of DPS. This was just okay, but they, I mean, they were still our top top guys outside of the flamethrower and chainsaw. Um, they were our top damage dealers. Um, yeah. Crucible did pretty decent, but yeah, chainsaw, 11,000 DPS. That's That must be only when it's active, right? Because I feel like it wasn't, or maybe it was just, maybe, I wonder if it was racking up damage there at the very end. That's a possibility. But either way, I mean, whatever happens, we won, so that's awesome. So let's go back to the main menu. So at least I was able to get a, a clear. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Choose a beam that shrinks non-boss enemies significantly, making them faster, taking double damage, and they don't inflict damage when touched. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, is that the only thing we unlocked? Only one thing? Okay, let's go to our skill tree. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do, like, damage. So I have 12 points. Let's do damage. Um, let's do the HP. No, I like doing the upgrade ones, I think. Increases. Let's see. Every time you level up, you recover HP, increases your healing effectiveness, increases your HP regen, increases your max HP. Okay, let's do. Let's do the, this artifact. And then receive an additional armor when standing still. We can buy that, and then I can buy this. Your blood skill becomes a range skill that lasts five seconds, dealing 20 damage per second and recovering one HP per any enemy killed. So we can get that. Um, extra shield. So how much points do I have? Four. Let's do the healing ones. Cost six, five, four. Increases your HP regen. Let's do HP regen. Okay, and then let's go do our permanent upgrades. We have 12 points. Let's do pickup range. And then movement speed. And then I'm going to do the potions. Okay, and there we go. That's it for now. All right, everybody. That, is, that was a clean run. Um, the Paladin, I really like the Paladin. I just like how tanky we can build her, how much health she can regenerate and things like that. Um, the DPS, I guess, was a little bit lacking there at the end, but I think that was possibly my build too a little bit. Because uh, the last time my DPS, when I cleared it off stream, was so much better. I had so much better DPS. I was killing, able to kill those last few enemies on the screen a, a lot better. But either way, we still have the survivability and the CC to win. So there we go. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.